The sick parents who allegedly chained their 13 malnourished kids to their beds previously lived in a pair of squalid homes in Texas, where neighbors feared the kids were locked in cupboards and scratches were found on the backs of the doors. David and Louise Turpin were arrested and charged with torture and child endangerment after one of their children of 17-year-old girl escaped through the window of their California home and called police Now it has emerged that the family lived in a filthy and dilapidated home in Fort Worth, Texas, where the family who bought the house 18 years ago found carpets caked in filth and scratch marks on doors At first they thought the marks came from animals, but news of the arrest made them view the scratches in a new light The Turpin family then moved to a property in Rio Vista that they lived in until 2010 which one neighbor called the compound The current owner found strange vents in the closets of the main bedroom, and that she feared may have been made to keep oxygen flowing to the children locked in the closets Shelley Vineyard told CBS 11, I thought it was like a religious compound over there She said the family homeschooled their children and kept them away from anybody but appeared to be friendly and their kids played together But then she asked one of the girls her name and she replied they weren't allowed to tell people their names After that the children wouldn't play with Vineyard's kids anymore Cops said some siblings were shackled to furniture in the filthy Follow smelling conditions of the home in California The parents, 49-year-old Louise Anna Turpin and 57-year-old David Allen Turpin, were jailed on $9 million bail Charges that may include torture and child endangerment could come Wednesday, and a court appearance is scheduled for Thursday, authorities said The house where the Riverside Sheriff's Department found them emaciated and shackled to their beds with chains and padlocks and dark and foul-smelling surroundings looked orderly from the outside The one-level brown bungalow in the Riverside County middle-class neighborhood of Paris south of San Bernardino had just four bedrooms for the large family 